Today, we're going to be taking a look at the idea of semantic routing for AI agents using OpenAI's new third generation embedding models. And specifically, we're going to see if it still works with the tiny embedding size that OpenAI have come up with for their large model. So essentially their large model by default, it's uh, I think 30, 72 dimensional embeddings, but they say that you can decrease that to just 256 dimensions and still get better than ARDA 002 performance, which is a bit crazy. And I mean, I mean, that's cool if it works. Um, but that, that is all I was saying. So we'll be trying that out and we're going to be trying it out with the semantic router library. So the idea behind semantic router is rather than waiting for LM to make all the decisions, we can use essentially semantic similarity to make the same decisions. So let's just jump straight in to using these two things together. So I'm going to go to the docs. We're going to go to encoders and we're going to go to OpenAI Embed 3. Okay, so I'm going to open this in Colab and we should come to here. So we introduce the, or at least the dimension feature for the OpenAI encoder in 0.19 and OpenAI introduced it to their APIs in OpenAI uh, 1.10. So you will need these versions uh, to use all of this and that will come with uh, with this. Okay, so we're just going to run this. So 0 .0 0 0.0.20 now actually. And the first thing I'm going to do is just set some routes. These are more like well, this is a, it's more of a protective route it is essentially, you know, you don't want your AI agents or, or LMs to be talking about a certain thing. So you're putting the protective guardrail. That is exactly what we're doing here. So I'm going to run that. And these, what you see, are these utterances here, they just define a few examples of queries or messages or interactions that a user might provide, which is, you know, things that we wouldn't want to answer and how this will work is it will not be restricted to just these utterances but it will look for similar utterances as well so we'll have that sort of protective route and then we have another one let's say for this one uh, if we hit this route we want the agent to respond in a more conversational manner so let's try with open ai's so the text embedding three large model. And I'm going to set the dimensions parameter to 256 and just see what happens. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious. Um, so yes, we run that. I will need an OpenAI API key for this. So to get that, you go to platform.openai.com. And if you're running this in Colab, it's going to come with this little, nice little text box. So you can just enter your API key in there and it will work. So we are, okay, we're now going to define our a route layer. So a route layer, well, it needs two things. It needs an encoder, which we just defined, and it needs some routes, which we defined here. Okay. Which is just our, our list of routes. So, yep. We pass them into there. We initialize our route layer. Cool. And then we can check the dimensionality of the vectors that have been created by this route layer by looking at this. And yes, indeed, we can see that we have 256 dimensional vectors. Pretty cool. Now let's see if it works with a few example questions. Okay, very simple. It's not like they're hard, but nonetheless, I think it's, if it passes all, which I think it might do, that's pretty good. Um, okay, so we have, don't you have politics and how's the weather today? They both hit the correct uh, routes. Okay, cool. And then the other one, so this one is not really either of those. And you can see that the route that it hits is none. Okay, it doesn't hit any route and yeah that's exactly what we would want it to do so that is actually not too bad uh, especially considering it is that 256 dimensional vector so very impressive and you know i haven't even optimized the model you know, whatsoever here so we could probably get even better uh, performance and i mean let's just go ahead and do that let's see how we can optimize this further and just test on a larger data set so i'm going to take this little bit of code here i'm just going to copy this across and i'm just going to go back to this semantic router library here i'm going to go to my docs 
and then I'm going to go to threshold optimization. So this is the, the notebook that shows us how to do this sort of optimization. It has like a, um, a test data set in there as well. So I'm going to run this all pretty quickly. So I'm going to okay, pip install, but we actually don't need the local version because that's when you're running like local models. We don't need it here because we're using the OpenAI API. So I'm going to run that. I'm going to define a few different routes. So we, again, we do have that politics and chit chat routes, but we also have two others, mathematics and biology. So let's add those. And then here is where things are going to change a little bit. So I'm going to, rather than using the open source hugging face encoder, I'm going to use OpenAI's encoder. And let's just see. Okay, let's see how it will perform. Okay, let's try. Okay, we initialize our route layer and there's going to be a few uh, utterances here that I'm going to test. So we can see it gets, okay, so it gets the politics one, it gets the weather one, but it doesn't get the, I think this one's biology and it doesn't get this. Oh, no, this one's correct. Okay, so this should hit none. So it just misses the biology one here. Okay, that's fine because we can actually optimize these, right? We can improve them. So... I'm just going to show you this quickly. I'm just evaluating the performance here. Yep, fine. Now, this on small data set. What about when we add a big data set? Okay, so we have a we have a few more examples here. I'm going to add a few more very quickly to make it a little bit harder for the model. Okay, so I've added just four more here, which are kind of similar to the other the other routes, but they're actually not you know, I don't want them to be defined as those other routes. So, you know, these two are very similar to mathematics, this one similar to biology, and this one kind of similar to, I suppose, biology, and also the, the chit chat route. So that will make it a little bit harder for the model. So let's see, well, let's see how it does on this, Again, see the accuracy, pretty bad. Right? Um, but that's not a good measurement, because I'm using the default thresholds for uh, RDA002 here, which as I understand the sort of what is similar and what is not similar for the new third generation models is a lot different uh, in terms of like that value, that sliding scale. So that's probably not very fair. Fortunately, we can just basically automatically optimize that to, and we'll be able to see what the new models do define as being um, as being optimal. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we're going to fit this. It's going to run over 500 iterations, and yeah, we'll see what the performance is at the end. So it looks like about 89%. Uh, let's see what those new thresholds look like. So you can see that far, far lower, which is interesting. All right, so it seems like the thresholds for the new model at least the 256 dimensions of the embed 3 large model that threshold is is more like around what was this like close to 3 between like 2.5 to 3 here for biology even lower which oh, that's pretty interesting um it's a, it's, it's a lot different so yeah uh, we can we can run this as well so the accuracy I get here is 88.57%. That's interesting. So let's remember that number and let's try with Arda and just see, see what the performance difference is like, if any. Again, it's just one test. So maybe we don't, you know, we can't really decide based on this whether you know, this means the model is you know, bad or good, I don't think. So we're going to switch this across to Arda002. The score threshold uh, doesn't really matter. I think the default that we set by default for Arda is like 8.2. So I'm actually, let's start them both in the same place. You know, let's assume we don't know anything about Arda either. So I'm going to run that. Then, so we are going to reinitialize our route layer and we'll just see how they this one does as well here. So you see actually, you know, it's actually does get 75% again, but results are, you know, it, it does different ones, as you can see there. So let's redefine all of this. Let's see what the accuracy is here. So 80%. So it's starting off fairly strong in comparison. 
but let's see what we can what we can improve on okay actually so if you look at these uh, they did not refresh maybe I should have uh, maybe I should have refreshed something yeah it's fine it, I don't think it's a big deal so let's uh, let's just run this again and see what happens okay so yeah we can see the accuracy is it was increasing just then let's see what the updated thresholds are okay so they have moved around quite a bit I wonder if we can let's try running it again and we can do max it is to uh is it i think it's this we can increase this just to see give it more of a chance to optimize okay but it seems to be getting stuck around that those thresholds anyway so yeah still the same so that's what we have for those and then the accuracy what was that it was uh, 87.14 so slightly worse although i have actually seen this go up to 92 percent before maybe it's because i added these slightly harder um, utterances in there so clearly this actually does so this 256 dimensional third generation embedding model from OpenAI in this case uh, did outperform ARDA which is pretty impressive I should put emphasis on the fact that this was just one test they I mean I yeah to to be sure I, I really do need to just be using the model over quite a long time with a lot of different things to kind of form a good opinion on this but it seemed to work pretty well here so that's I mean better than I, I would have expected given the tiny uh, embedding sizes it's pretty cool so yeah that's it quick test I'm gonna leave it there so I hope this has been interesting and useful so thank you very much for watching and I will see you again in the next one bye